Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Oh, hey look, Spider-Man, use a black and blue, sir. Just like your face, b****. Nice. YouTube Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Spider-Man homecoming figure and it's the Tech Suit Spider-Man. He's a blue and smithy. So I picked this guy and the Vulture up at my local Kroger marketplace. Uh, they had him for like eight bucks and some change and a about a dollar more so than what they were at Walmart but I didn't pick this guy up when he first came out and they sold out and I was kind of eh but I did find one at the Kroger marketplace. So I definitely want to pick it up because the blue looks really cool. Not know if we're going to get this in the movie or not. This may just be a toy line, but uh, we may get some kind of camouflage thing going on with the suit. Who knows? So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Tech Suit Spider-Man and the packaging. And it's the same one we got with the home, homemade suit Spider-Man. It says Spider-Man Homecoming. There's Spidey. There's, there he is with his little web. Uh, accessory comes with there he is and lots of words down there that's kind of weird spider-man logo it says tech suit spider-man nothing really on the sides we get that kind of cool bubbly thing going on there but yeah there's a close-up of spider-man and it's homecoming love the blue i think it's very pretty so yeah it's pretty much the front side of it back side has uh spidey again there's a little write-up uh, the other figures in the line here um and uh, there he is with his little web um, I think this web looks a little cooler than the other one, but I don't know. We'll see. So there's a little write-up. If you want to pause and read that, you can do so. And it's Spider-Man. It's his homecoming. And then, uh, yeah, so there he is, whipping his little web around. Oh! And then uh, there's the regular suited Spider-Man, the Vulture, which I will be doing a review on, and then the homemade uh, suit Spider-Man, uh, which I have already reviewed. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get the Tech Suit Spidey out of box and see what we think. So here we have the Tech Suit Spider-Man out of package. And I gotta say, I like the paintwork on this. Um, I wish there was some more, actually. Some really awesome metallic blues here and on the back, I wish uh, we got in other places. Uh, maybe around the belts and on the gloves. I think that would have been pretty cool, but alas, we did not get it. He comes with this accessory piece, which is uh, looks just like a piece of webbing. I guess uh, Spider-Man webbing, which is kind of interesting. Looks better than the other one that we've gotten with uh, the home suit Spider-Man. It is made of that same kind of really soft rubbery material, uh, which works, I guess, for webbing. I really like the design here at the end. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. They did a good job with it. Um, it. He doesn't hold it very well, though. It wants to, like the other one, it just kind of hangs in his hand, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey, at least it came with a webbing accessory. The figure itself, I believe, is just a repaint of the uh, regular Spider-Man from this movie line. Uh, he's just all in blue. Why is he in blue? I don't know. Um, the back of the card says he unlocks all the technology in the suit to beat the Vulture or something. I don't know. And uh, I'm wondering if um, the suit changes colors in the movie, maybe? Uh, maybe when he powers up to do something? I don't know. I doubt it. This is probably just a gimmick figure for the line. Uh, like we always see in movie lines. Now, as far as articulation goes, his head moves back and forth. It has very slight wiggle on uh, the neck, which is a little unfortunate. Wish it could look up and down. There is nothing at the waist. Uh, the arms go out that far. They do twist up there. Uh, he does have a very um, expansive elbow joint. It also twists at the elbow. Nothing at the wrists. Um, his legs kick up that far. They don't go back at all. They don't move out at all. There is a joint at the knee and it also twists. Uh, nothing at the actual ankle. So same articulation that we get with the um, homemade suit Spider-Man, which, you know, that's okay. Uh, that works for me um, for, you know, what it is. I'd like a little bit more articulation, but I'm good with what it is. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the blue. Uh, the white looks nice. The spider is a little simplistic. It looks like it's got four legs, but that's okay. We get a little bit of white lineage in the uh, painted in the grooves of the outfit, uh, which is nice to kind of bring that forward. Uh, I like all the black. The back 
Spider. Love that. It's a very classic uh, comic book looking spider symbol, but it's a metallic blue, which is very nice. I like all the black line work around the arms. Uh, I think that looks really, really cool. The eyes aren't quite as big as I would like them to be, but uh, that's kind of the look of this suit. And, you know, I can, I can go with it. It's definitely very cool if you like a different colored costume for Spider-Man. Um, definitely neat, uh, definitely different. Was not expecting the metallic blue at all on that spider. Um, so I was very happy to see that. And I wish we had more of that metallic blue spread out throughout the suit. I think that would have looked cool. Maybe in the lines, we get some of the white lines, maybe the metallic blue in the other lines. That would have been kind of cool, but, but also push the price of the figure up. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, I like all the black design uh, on the arms, the blue that goes around his waist. Uh, he's got a little um, uh, flip shooter hand, which is cool. And then he's got the actual uh, thwipping buttons inside the palm, which are black. Um, the lines down around the waist look nice. Um, the rest of it's kind of this, uh, almost a super dark blue. I don't know if it's a black or a super dark blue, kind of a charcoal black, I guess, is what that is, uh, with a little bit of a blue hue to it. Again, that blue spider looks really nice. I really would have liked to see more of that metallic blue around the waist and on the hands and gloves. That would have been super sick, but unfortunately, we did not get that. So taking a look at the legs of the figure, and to be honest, this is where the figure shines. Oh, pun intended. So he's got these nice metallic blue boots, which I didn't even notice in the packaging because the bottom of the package was so high, it was kind of a surprise to pull it out and see it there, along with the metallic blue on the spider on the back of the figure. So very cool, love this paint, love this color. Uh, wish it was on more of the figure, not the entire figure per se, but I wish it was on more of the figure. I think the combination of this metallic blue and that uh, really rich blue that we get with the rest of the figure would have looked nice all over. You could probably do some custom work. Uh, this looks like a paint of metallic blue that I already have, so I may do some customizing. I don't know. For comparison, here we have the Tech Suit Spider-Man with the Homemade Suit Spider-Man from the same line and the Black Suit Spider-Man from Marvel Legends that just come out with the Sandman uh, bath uh, series. And as you can see, it's the same height as the Homemade, which makes sense because they're from the same line. It's the same character. And he is uh, quite a bit shorter than the Marvel Legends version, which I'm okay with because Tom Holland is playing a teenager. And I think that fits pretty decently in uh, this scale. Uh, especially the homemade suit one. That one, I don't know so much. I guess um, it looks cool. I definitely like it, but it has more of a mature Spider-Man look. But, um, you know, you, you, even though you put on a better costume, doesn't make you taller, I guess, right? So uh, definitely cool to see these guys together and especially the homemade suit next to the tech suit. So is the Tech Suit Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming something you want in your Spider-Man collection? Well, if you're Spider-Man completist, you'll probably pick it up. If you like the kind of niche uh, figures uh, for comic book characters, you're going to like this. If you like blue, you might pick him up. I don't know. I That's why I got him. Uh, uh, it just really gravitated towards me. I really, really like the color, uh, the metallic blue on the boots. I wish there was more of that on the rest of the suit. Um, I'd like it up in the gloves, maybe around the belt or something. I think that would have been a lot of fun. Um, you could definitely do some nice customizing with this figure, I think. But overall, I think it's a fun figure. I think kids are going to like it. And for the price, it's not bad. So we'll see if we actually see this in the movie. I doubt we will, but hey, who knows? So there he is, the Tech Suit Spider-Man, or, well, I like to call him Smurfy Spider. No, I, I, I don't call him that at all. It's the Tech Suit Spider-Man from the upcoming Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share like us on Facebook and look for more videos in the future.